I'm installing a solar controller here and uh, all of these are very very similar doesn't matter what brand or type you've got you've got a control box down the bottom here you have a hot lead which will be the long lead in this case here it's wrapped up like that and you'll have a short lead which is your cold lead that needs to go somewhere just in front of the pump and uh, just showing you I mean just just installing the box on the wall there I've just used the existing screws that are in place. It's a little bit crooked, but they're adjustable, so I can just straighten that up a tad. Um, I've drilled the right size hole for the grommet, so all that's involved is uh, putting the, the rubber grommet in. And I'm not saying what size drill, because you'll have to find out for the, your system what grommet. Not just going into the pipe, but I'm going into an elbow, either a joiner or an elbow. Make sure that sits down like you want push the temperature probe into the grommet. Now sometimes you'll get a joiner comes with it with all the fittings and you can press it in. But in this case, and I just think I'm gonna need two hands to press that home. It's got a barb there so that it doesn't pop out. Now I'm gonna need a couple of hands to press it in, but that'll just press home and that'll seal up. And uh, that's your suction point done if you do get a bit of an air leak don't panic just pull it off again put a bit of silicon on the on the rubber grommet put it in and then a bit of silicon on this and put it in and that'll seal it up it is important here on the suction side that you don't get an air leak so if you when you test it you need to listen to make sure there's no air getting in here so there you go it's home now and there's no leaks what i did is got a pair of pliers opened it up either side of the wire and then um, while i was holding the pipe with my other hand i just gave it a good push and it clicked into place, but you want it to be tight. So there we go, cold sensor in place uh, with the plugs. We just plug it into that green connector there. It shows you uh, roof and pool. As you can see there, the pool sensor is the one that comes just in front of your pump to check your pool temperature. The roof sensor goes up onto the roof. Now, again, because of lightning strikes, you don't actually want this to be right up at the very, very top of your roof at the top of the solar. You just want it to be on the bottom side or somewhere near the gutter. If there's trees, there are trees here, you need to have it so that when the solar mat comes into shade or at least 50% into shade, that it will come, the sensor will come into shade as well. But uh, we're then just gonna run up the long wire, which is that guy. Gonna run him up. There's an existing one there, but we'll replace it and um, run it up and onto the roof. And that's it. The only detail I didn't mention there is that the um, solar pump, the one that's pumping the water up onto the solar, needs to be plugged into that controller, and then the controller needs to be plugged in all the time. But that's simply it. It's a differential temperature controller, so when there's potential to heat the pool, uh, it'll turn the solar pump on and uh, run the water through the solar and heat the pool. Uh, trying to just turn the solar on on a hot day by yourself, uh, you, you're not going to get anywhere near the solar potential that you do. Um, once you've got a solar controller on. They're one of those ones where they're, if you're wanting to get a decent bit of heat out of your solar, then they're a must-have. And if you're looking to put a solar up, hopefully it'll come with it automatically. But again, it's a must-have. Brilliant unit and uh, make your pool a whole lot warmer.